Have you ever been anxious to play long shots? Are you afraid to play stop shots over a long distance? Do you hate long distance draw shots? Then this drill might be exactly what you need. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my s. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my s. Oh, boy. Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, boy. Know that the ride or die. I'm a oh, boy. Know that the ride or die. The reason why I want to talk with you about this drill is because many people overlook the actual purpose of this drill. Because if you think that it's just about potting, long distance potting, stop shots and draw shots, then you might be wrong. Because actually this drill is about your stroke. It's about honing your stroke, it's about developing your stroke and all these little mechanics which are required to have a smooth and exact straight stroke. The potting and everything else that comes with it is a very positive side effect. So if you fix your stroke, then this exercise is definitely going to be easy for you. If you get a messy stroke, you will be suffering big, big time, just as I did. Last year was actually very lucky because Tyler Steyer and Margaret Fefilova were visiting our club here in Baden in Austria. The reason they've been here was because both of them attended the Predator event in Austria in Klagenfurt. So I was super lucky to watch them practice and I can tell you those two are really, really animals when it comes to dedicating themselves to a practice routine. And one of their daily practices was the Mighty X drill. A lot of Mosconica players use this drill but, and a lot of professionals do, but we amateurs also should. It's not only about straight stroking, it's also what you do with your elbow, what you do with your wrist, what you do when you follow through, how the alignment of your elbow is working out with the follow through of your cue. Okay, let's dive into it. Let me show you how this drill works. Very simple, you put four balls on the table, always in the connection between the second diamond and the first diamond on the table. The remaining balls, you leave half of them here and half of them on the other side of the table. And then you just start to play. Don't judge me right now, it's just to explain you how the drill works. So the idea is that you play a stop shot, in this case on the one, then you move from one side of the table to the other side of the table, use the ball which is sitting here to play another stop shot, like this. Once that's done, what you do is you take two of these balls waiting here and put them exactly where the other object balls have been placed previously. Once that's done, you just move around the table and just do the same from the other side into the opposite direction. In this case, playing a stop shot from the six to the five. And in this case now from the cue ball to the nine. So when you start out with a basic exercise, just shooting balls into a pocket and then do it over and over again, you start to get a feeling of your follow through and of your mechanics, but you don't know if that would work out with an object ball. And this is where this drill comes into play. So in this drill, you just add object balls and to be able to pocket these object balls over a longer distance on the table, you need to have a straight stroke. Now let me demonstrate to you how it would look like when I try to concentrate myself. And the emphasis is put on the word when I try to. Because it's not going to be perfect. You will find a lot of mistakes in this video and I will even mark them out. But that's what drills are for. They show you your weaknesses. In this case they show me my weaknesses so I really know what I need to work on. And in the standard version of the drill you just start out with playing stop shots. It's not just about potting the ball or playing a simple stop shot, it's about putting focus on how you play the stop shot. 
So the goal is when you hit the object ball that the ball which with you pocket the object ball is not moving in any direction, not spinning backwards, sidewards, forward, in no direction. To be able to achieve this, you need to be very precise. And you will see in the version I'm just playing right now, I will mark it in the video, how many mistakes I'm doing. Enjoy this little demonstration.
So after you play the stop shot version of this drill, you just repeat the same thing just with follow. That means you just try to pot the ball and just follow the cue ball into the pocket. A little hint a pro showed me and that's if you don't want to start out immediately with pocketing the balls and following the cue ball into the pocket, you can start with rolling the balls uh, towards the pocket, meaning you pocket the object ball and the cue ball is just slowly following the object ball, but not completely into the pocket. You move forward slightly from shot to shot and eventually the cue ball is gonna drop into the pocket. And if you succeeded with the follow stroke part of this exercise, the last part is to apply a draw stroke. And in this case, just try to pocket the object ball into the corner pocket and draw the cue ball into the opposite corner pocket. That's hugely difficult and not easy to do, but let me show you how it's done. Okay, and that's about it for the standard version of this drill. There are so many different options you can make this drill even harder. You might not believe it. If you guys out there know other options and other versions of this drill, please let me know in the comment section below. I would be hugely interested to learn from you. And if you want to learn more about my talks with professional pool players and how they prepare for their big matches, just listen to this podcast, Pocket at the Pool Billiard Podcast. It's available for free on all major podcast platforms. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video.